They will fail and we will win bigger and better than ever before. Twice impeached and now twice indicted, former President Donald Trump was upbeat and defiant after pleading not guilty to 37 federal charges. The former president rallying supporters at his Bedminster, New Jersey golf club, once again declaring his innocence and threatening to prosecute President Biden if he's elected. I will never be moving. Earlier, Trump was arrested and fingerprinted before his court appearance. The former president never spoke in court, seeming to understand the gravity of the charges he's facing. Prosecutors allege Trump illegally kept classified documents, including some of the nation's most sensitive nuclear weapons and national defense secrets at his Mar-a-Lago club. They also say he didn't fully comply with the subpoena, then repeatedly tried to obstruct the FBI's efforts to retrieve the documents, even alleged allegedly suggesting that his attorneys hide or destroy documents. Attorney General Mara Garland speaking about the indictment for the first time. My role is completely consistent with the regulations that set forth the responsibilities of the attorney general under the special uh, council regulations. Most of Trump's opponents for the Republican nomination initially defended him and blasted the DOJ, despite not having read the indictment. Now that they have, their statements are more critical. If this indictment is true, if what it says is actually the case, President Trump was incredibly reckless with our national security. The handling of classified materials is a very serious matter, and this indictment contains serious charges, and I cannot defend what is alleged. Uh, at the end of the day, though, I, I can't believe that politics didn't play some role here. A Reuters Ipsos poll now shows more than two in five Republicans still support Trump for the nomination, and three quarters say these charges have no impact or actually make it even more likely that they will support him. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.